Right now, there are two problems that parents are facing with their children. Why not create a digital product that can solve those issues? Now, let's think a little bit with me. Let's say for me, what's relaxing? What feels therapeutic? I can think of three things. Drinking a cup of coffee, journaling, and painting my walls, which is like like painting murals and stuff and botanicals. I love to do that. I'm not an expert, but I love it. And it's therapeutic. It's relaxing, right? Now, let's think in terms of children. How can we get them off the screens while helping them do something that is good for their minds, that is therapeutic, and that gets them in this creative zone? If you're a parent, you are no stranger to the mom, dad, I'm bored. So why not get their creative juices flowing and get them off the screens and help them do something that's therapeutic? What is a product that you can create if you're building a brand, especially for children, where you can get them off the screens? Well, it's called art therapy. Art therapy books are a thing. And I came across it because I'm always doing research on what digital products are out there, not just on Amazon KDP, but also what's what's trending. I go to Google Trends and see what people are searching for. I do a little bit of ChatGPT, and I'm always searching for different products that parents are actually searching for and they're buying for their children. I want you to start thinking in terms of not just publishing on Amazon KDP, but rather what kind of brand can you create that's going to solve problems for families, for children, for people as a whole, and not just create junk, create purposeful digital products that help and transform lives. In this niche, you will find mindfulness-based art therapy activities, art therapy journals for kids, mindfulness coloring book for children, Color Me Calm, I actually like that one, guided art therapy card deck, that's a good one, 250 brief creative and practical art therapy techniques, and so much more. Love this one, mental health art therapy, love it. Let me go ahead and check on my Katie Spy and see what it comes up with. When we look at the popularity, it says that there are only a small number of books performing well for this keyword. But in potential, there is a green color. The revenue potential of books under this keyword looks very good. So as far as revenue, there is potential. And as for competition, the competition here is very strong. If you are thinking of publishing here on Amazon KDP, even when it says that it's a strong competition, you can still rank your book when you do it right. If you want to learn how you can craft the perfect title, subtitle, how to craft an enticing table of contents, a great introduction, a book description that is going to turn strangers into customers, go ahead and download my ebook right down below. I'm dropping the link where I teach you how to think like a copywriter. And these are tips that you, you don't only have to use them for your books. You can use them on other different things. Why? Because I teach you a marketing strategy that I learned a few years ago that helped tons of my clients on Fiverr. Is there something about me that I want you to know is that I am big on ideas. I love to share the ideas that come to my mind, the ideas that I research, the ideas that just come to my mind when I'm cooking or washing dishes, because I believe that ideas are powerful and it just might help you develop the brand of book that maybe you've had in your mind. Maybe you have been wanting to create for some time, or it may spark up a new idea on a different path that you may take with the one with the idea that you already have. So I'm just sharing with you right now because I started spending some time in researching uh, things about art therapy uh, workbooks or art therapy activity books. And these are just some of the book covers that I came up with when I was researching this niche. I'm going to go ahead and design another book cover in real time and go ahead and follow along with me and design your own book cover as well. Now, the book dimensions that I used for this specific template is a 5.25 by 8. And without further ado, let's start designing. The first thing we're going to do is go on to Canva, uh, open your customized template, and we're going to click on Elements. Under Elements, we're going to go ahead and search for all things watercolor backgrounds, okay? You can choose other backgrounds. It doesn't have to be watercolor, but personally, I like the watercolor look. Uh, let's see what else is here. I This is the one that I had, I selected for the first 
background, the first cover that I created. And let me go ahead and just delete it. And then as you go down, there are tons and tons to choose from. And it, it doesn't have to be an art therapy just for kids. Uh, it could be an art therapy book for adults, for women. You can, if you have, if you're a faith-filled woman and, and, and you want to go ahead and create something for Christian women where you have like an art therapy book um, where they get to color, there's coloring pages and activities. And guess what? You can even include small devotionals or, or uh, Bible, biblical Bible verses. So that is also something very cool. Let me go ahead and select this page. And if we're doing one, I want you guys to think. And these sessions uh, where I start designing, I really want you to think. I really want to inspire you to come up with your own ideas and think outside the box. Maybe you can come up with an art therapy book series for girls, just girls. Um, I think that would be very powerful. Um, it could be for faith-filled girls. You can make it very niche. And I want you to also think before I start designing, very, very important. I want you to think about not just publishing on Amazon KDP. Think about your alternatives. Why not open your own stand store and guess what? Start creating content on a platform like TikTok and you share the coloring sessions or you share the, uh, in this case, the art therapy activities that kids can do every single day. Let's start designing together. There you have it. This is the front cover that I came up with in real time. And to create the back cover, all you have to do is add a page and then continue the design process. Also, if you wanna go ahead and learn how to put it together, what I mean by together is the front cover and the back cover, you can go ahead and check out a video that I went ahead and recorded where I teach you how to format your book cover. Now that we're done with the design process for the front cover, and you want to learn how to do the interior pages, what to put on your interior pages, not a problem. Let's go ahead and head on over to ChatGPT. Here, you're going to go ahead and ask and ask the, the AI to come up with a table of contents for a, an art therapy book for girls and to give you, I don't know, 20 activities. So let's go ahead and start asking this AI. So now as it's coming up, it says here are 20 art therapy activities designed for girls to help them develop mindfulness, uh, self-awareness, and emotional expression. The first one is gratitude collage. Create a collage using pictures and drawings of things you're grateful for. Focus on positive emotions as you choose images. For a gratitude collage, what you would do is you would go on to uh, Canva, and then this page, you would go ahead and name it gratitude collage. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and go on to ChatGBT, go ahead and grab this, these instructions, and we're going to go ahead and paste them here. So you can go ahead and add them here so that they know exactly what they will be doing in this page. Now you can go ahead and provide some decoration as to, uh, let's say the borders, and you can begin to put, uh, let me show you. We can go ahead and maybe use 
See this right here? We can go ahead and decorate the page itself, like on the sides. Since it's a collage page, you can just go ahead and do pretty much any design around this. You can even flip this over and then use it here at the bottom or however you'd like. And then that way they can start doing a collage here in the middle. So that's a very simple activity. Um, and right now I'm just doing this in real time. So this could be <laughs> 10 times better than what I just did right now. So let's say this is one of your pages, right? Then let's go ahead and add another page. Let's go to ChatGPT. It's asking you for mood mandalas. Draw or color mandalas while paying attention to how you feel. Each color or shape can represent a specific emotion you're experiencing. For mandalas, we're going to go ahead and back to um, here to uh, Canva. And we're going to go ahead and under elements, we're going to go ahead and click on mandalas coloring page. And as you can see, we have a few here. So what you would do is you would grab a couple. And what I would do is just go ahead and fill up the page with something like this, right? Let's say it's something like this. And then at the top, um, I would write something along the lines of color mandalas while paying attention to how you feel. So I would only write this right here. And we're going to go back to Canva, add the text. And here you go. Always modify the text. You want to make sure that it's in your own words. And you can even add a few, uh, a few like lines here so they maybe they can journal to like inspire journaling. So that's that right here. And it's, these are just simple pages, simple activities. The next one, it says nature art, collect leaves, flowers, and other natural items, then arrange them to create a beautiful nature scene, reflect on the calmness and beauty of nature. So for something like that, we can go ahead and see what we have here as far as nature goes. So we would go water, color, nature. And let's see what comes up. So maybe we can fill up this specific uh, page with like grass and maybe they can go ahead and glue here uh, little uh, that actual like nature things that they found, whether it's twigs, flowers and so on and so forth. Or we can fill the page with just different items so that it's not a blank page. And you would put the directions here on the top so they know exactly what they're going to do for this specific page like we did here where we have the instruction here and then you have it here. So that's exactly how I would execute a book like this. I would just make every single page an activity for the day and you can even name it day one, day two. And if you want to go ahead and start naming the days, what I would do is the following. I've done this for other books where I just create at the top, you go ahead and add like a square or something or let's see, rectangle whoa I'm doing it on the wrong one so rectangle and then let's go ahead and make it here or we can even shift this onto this side and then here is where we would put day one so we would go to put it in the middle and then here we would put day one let me go ahead and clear this bar and then put day one you could do it like this or spell out the day one and then we would put this in here and pretty much you would have that page set and this is very simple it's a simple book that you can do and like i said if you're thinking in terms of really creating and making a brand out of this go ahead and create the book print it out and then have um, and actually do these activities and just record yourself or you know your kids or whoever um, the book is for and just create content around this specific book this activity book or workbook so this is that I hope this video was helpful. I hope it sparked new ideas and new ways of executing your own idea. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.